Okay, so it's time to hang out with our audience and take your questions, everybody. I hope you guys, what does everyone think about this new chat room that we have, a test design? Pretty cool. Everybody's still figuring it out. I'm getting okay. some questions. Where's the polls? How do I find this page? So I want to oh, make sure that we're really clear with that great. on our website and whatnot. Um, but we have chatters. We do have chatters. We had 25 people in the chat and around 60 people watching on YouTube. I hope that mm. everybody that's on YouTube will come join us in the chat because we love talking with you. Um, if we're not too boring, our audience definitely isn't. They do most of the talking. <laughs> <laughs> So the giveaway here, as you guys can see, is counting down three, two, one. <gasps> so we'll go ahead and run the giveaway video. Can you turn that back on? Sorry. Oh, technical difficulty. Um, and I cannot see the chat because it's so teeny on my screen. But I guess Tess can read it when she gets a chance. Um, but I wanted to ask you, Vicky. So how long have you been live streaming? So I started on Blab in 2016, and so just almost a year and a half now, and face, uh, streaming on Facebook using Wirecast um, since May of last year. So a year, almost a year, like literally wow. like a week away from a year. You know, and I remember when we used to do our live show and we would get like five people or like 10 or, you know, like, like 20 was like amazing. And now it's a little bit more than that. It's not that much more, but this, you just have to do it on a consistent basis and grow your audience. And Yeah, consistency is key. And can I just jump in really quick? There was a question, a, a comment from Mike that was really good. I really, really appreciated it. He, um, he said, I think appealing to women is based on feel men are different and you i'm you know i have no idea because uh, obviously i'm not a man but mike speaking from your from your from yourself i think that makes so much sense because men are completely different i mean having m being married to a man um sometimes i'm like all feely feely and let's talk about this and he's more mm -hmm. like um, it, it's so different i completely agree like and that i'm too. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm so curious. Like, Mike, you brought such a good point. Like, how do you keep your male audience engaged? How you how do you keep them coming back? So I think that's a really good question that I cannot answer. Yeah. Vicky, I love that you yourself brought up uh, someone from our chat. That doesn't happen often. Oh. I like it. Maybe we should invite our guests to do that more often. Um, you're obviously paying attention to it, and that's awesome. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> what was I going oh, the to winner, get into? The winner the, of the oh, live yes. show is Jacob LaFontaine. And if you're there, you have to be watching live. Jacob's from Montana, Bozeman, Montana. And um, just tell us you're here in the chat room. Yeah, and I need to say this one more time. You have to claim the prize through the chat. So, Jacob, if you're watching from YouTube, make sure that you come over to ptzoptics.com slash show. Um, join into the chat. We'll give you a couple minutes here and, you know, say you're here. You can join in through Facebook um, or t -t -t Google, your email. You can join in through in another, a number of different ways. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out this new chat system myself. Um, in vMix, Rudy says, in vMix, you can use vMix Social if necessary, combined with data sources. That's, that's yeah. exactly what we're doing today. Um, we started using vMix Social last week, had a lot of fun with it during NAB, and that sort of got us thinking on, okay, what are some other ways that we can expand on this idea? Let's show it to Vicky because I think, I know Wirecast has something like I would this. love to see. Um, but let's just, let's just show this off. So basically what it does is, is you go, you have a little um, thing here that uh, allows you to integrate with Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And what you can do is like, for example, on Twitter, what would be, so what is your Twitter uh, name? It's Vicky Lashenko, V-I-C-K-Y, and then L-A-S-H-E-N-K-O. Okay, so if we were to hit that, we could search your homepage. Oh, darn it. All right, we'll just, we'll just search for Vicky Lashenko. And what'll happen is, see the little Twitter bird there, it, it takes a second, and then um, it'll search for all of your tweets. And so it just wow. found four of them. Um, 
And what you can do is, so they're not going to show up automatically unless you set it up that way. But what we can do is we can go ahead and add it to our queue. Oh, there's Vicky. And add it. We can go <laughs> ahead. If we add you to our queue, then wow. let's see here. Then you basically become part of that like roulette. So if we look at our queue here, we've got, these are all the tweets that we've searched out and added to our queue that can now be integrated into our live show. I love that. And yes, you're right. Wirecast does have this feature, but it's yeah. only with Twitter. And I wish that it was with Facebook because a yeah. lot, like most of my audience are not on Twitter. I know, not that many people are on no. Twitter anymore. Yeah, I see this I mean, transition Twitter. going over. Yeah, you know, Twitter is great for connecting with um, editors and mm -hmm. I mean Twitter is a news anchors I mean Twitter is re still really great because I was thinking like oh I should just leave Twitter because all my people are on Facebook but I think that benefits are Twitter of Twitter are extreme I, if you know how to use it obviously and I've made some amazing friends on Twitter so mm -hmm. I think um, don't discount Twitter so much. It's a, it's a oh, okay, also, so I have to say this, you guys. What, I'm so sorry to like jump in really quick, but no, uh, sure. Twitter. Okay, so I, okay, you know how some people forget that your your show is live? Like genuinely forget they're doing their stuff. Like yeah. my mom's, they're doing laundry, they're feeding their kids, whatever. They forget very easily, like I do. Like I forget so many times when Luria's show is on the live streaming pros. And then because, you're like, darn it. Um, I just, yeah, and I'm like, oh, I wish I was there live. I want to ask questions. Anyway, so I shared my concern in their Facebook group. And my my assistant, she's Ashlyn. She w works with me sometimes on like show notes and stuff. And she shared such a great tip. So Twitter has this really cool option where you could follow someone's tweets. You can get somebody's tweets in your text, which is amazing. So you can text 40404. So that's like 4044 to uh so text it to that number 4044 I'll and write the text follow and then the you the username mompreneur show for example i went to twitter and i created a new handle that's only called mompreneur show and so whenever i tweet they will get a text automatically into their text like into their phone I didn't know that. and i'm like I used to pay for a texting service and they're not very reliable. I literally got kicked out of my Google voice account because I would send text messages to remind people because I, as a mom, I know this is effective. And I had like 40 people on the list and, and you know, people that gave me permission. But when she told me about this amazing thing is that they will get a notification every time I tweet. So that's the reason I opened a new Twitter account. So I only tweet when we're live. When you're live, so, great idea. Yeah, so next Ooh. Monday will be my first Monday when I tweet and I'll say, hey mama, we're live on with so-and-so talking about whatever, and then a link to the Facebook live video. So I'm really excited for that, and I just really want to share that with you because people genuinely forget, and they do want to be reminded. And yeah. if they take the step to get notified, you won't even know. They don't even have to have a Twitter account, which is so awesome for my mamas. And um, they'll, you'll just be notified every time um, the, the account tweets. So I hope that was helpful. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm definitely going to take that uh, tip into mind, if only for my personal use, because um, I have some shows that I will be bothered because I do forget exactly what you're saying. Um, I like to have them in the background while I'm working on whatever I am at my desk, and I'm disappointed if I miss them. And that's a really great and clever way to figure out a way to get yourself notified of that. And I love that. Uh, we had a question in the chat, Paul. Um, doo -doo -doo. Well, Tom said he has a suggestion. When you go to the full screen, the need help chat us here is positioned over the full page reset. Can you move it to the left a little? Do you know what he's talking about? Because I, I can't picture. Um, is it the chat? I'm not sure. And you know what I just realized, though, is we forgot to play the giveaway video. <laughs> Always forget. Sorry, I completely I interrupted you. No, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. It's not your fault. No, no. We no this was earlier. Something. And we always forget the giveaway video. I don't I know what's my, wrong with I us. I love my NAB badge. Should we like throw it out? <laughs> no. Throw oh my yeah, NAB Paul's so proud out. of his NAB experience. He's he's I'm been like wearing it every like day. Have, he sleeps like in it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I sleep with it. You do not sleep with it. 
Um, it's but, a nice token. Yeah. No, Lucky VMix to be on the lanyard VMix this year. VMix was on the lanyard this year. This is yeah, they were on the lanyard for the NAB show, which everybody got a lanyard, I assume, that came in. Everybody I thought that was pretty lanyard. cool for them. That's awesome. So um, so we, we did a pretty good job, I think, of explaining everything. There's a 20-minute video that really digs into how to use all of this. Um, and I wrote a art, little article about it, too. But I, I think the, the, thing, the biggest thing for like, brands is the scalability. Like for guys, for us, for people like us, Vicky at Tess, you know, we have a, a smaller show and it's great to have a reason to reach out to people and have this exciting show and it's live and um, we can interact and do a lot of engagement. But what interests me is for like the larger brands or the, like the Nike or like Disney or something to be able to integrate live data from potentially hundreds of thousands of people and get this like live votes and tweets and Facebook actually has Facebook Live reactions. I don't know if you've ever used that before. Uh, we have some video tutorials oh, on this it. This is that allows perfect you to for Vicky because she solely streams on Facebook. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you just use Facebook, it's perfect for you. Basically, the, and so especially for moms. Let me send you the link. Please I'll send explain you how that works. So it's a website. So Facebook Live reactions is basically, Facebook has its own API, which allows you to um, take note of how many emojis are used. So Basically, if you could say to your audience, "Hey, everybody, you know, we'd like to know if you like for a mom thing." I'll try. I'll, I'm probably gonna ruin this, but for a mom <laughs> joke or not a joke, but a poll, it could be, "Do you are you a stay-at-home mom or are you a mom that works at home, or works works at the office?" And hit the love button if you're a stay-at-home mom, and hit the like button if you are working from. Uh, at the office, let's say. And then it'll actually show live how many likes and how many loves have been, are, like literally it'll just show like, oh, there's 200 likes and there's, there's 100 loves. And I so it'll just show that. live the data on your screen and that's like the topic of your conversation. And we did a bunch of them and they were really great. But the thing that I like about what we're doing here is it's completely uh, platform independent. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of larger brands today are live streaming to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Periscope, Periscope or, or another one. And you can't do a poll where just the people from Facebook are only allowed to, right. because that, that mm -hmm. clearly wouldn't work. So our system is actually independent. Yeah. Um, but that website I is also it. extremely user friendly. It's like press a button if you want the happy face, press yeah, a button, you know. Live we reaction. So what live is live reaction? Let me, let me show you what this looks like. I can email it to you later, Vicky, so you can you know get it right there. Um, I will put it in the chat. Uh, live reactions poll dot com, and basically you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, shout out box. The other cool thing is shout out boxes, which I know Wirecast mm -hmm. has. But basically, like as people comment, it shows up in the in, like on the screen as well. I love that. It's a great way to get feedback from your audience, and we got a fantastic comment. Um, in the chat, if I scroll up a little bit, Michael Holt says, Houses of Worship are now getting into live streaming, as we know. The last couple I worked with refused to assign someone to watch the live stream and chat comments. They only wanted to use Facebook strictly as a CDN. How important do you think it is to moderate your chat and your live streams? What's your take on that, Vicki? I think it's very important as a churchgoer and a live streamer house of worship watcher because we recently moved from portland oregon to south carolina and i miss my home church so much and thankfully they have live streaming and oftentimes i see a speaker um you know, speaking or someone singing and I have no idea who it is. And, you know, they show the lower third and then it goes out. But like I joined in after afterwards and and I'm like, oh, who is this person? And I don't get any reply. So mm. I would love and like clarification, like, OK, where what 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 was the um, what was the book he's reading from? Like right. what chapter or I missed it, you know? that would be so good um and of course the the chat moderator has to be literally in chat as well as in the service that that might be a little um difficult but i really think that's important for sure yeah um you had a great point in saying just if they had a quick question um not even mm -hmm. to build an audience community just if, for basic um needs could you repeat who that was speaking i think i think you'd at least need to have somebody there for that and it would be also a nice way that maybe if somebody else from your from your hometown was in the chat, you could kind of be like, hey, um, communicate with that group of people and whatnot. 
Yeah, my sure. wife is from St. Louis, and uh, she moved out here to Philadelphia to live with me, and um, her church doesn't stream. And mm. it, you got to set them up. I know. I have to help them because I they're so far away. But I'm going to go and help them on the holidays uh, because my wife wants to see, you know. And it, she, yeah. she, 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 we're trying to find a church here, but we keep switching. It's not the and same. And it's she like, wants to be still yeah. connected to her home church. And I don't blame her, but they don't stream. So it's one of those things where. Tom Willis says, without watching the chat, you may miss someone who needs spiritual help. You never know. Oh, good point. It's true. I've, I have seen really deep questions like, could you please clarify? I don't understand this. And I think it's important that, I mean, even even maybe have like a pastor who does the chat. Right. I think that would be great because some people are asking really deep questions that maybe a young high schooler won't be able to answer. Right. Matthew Bigwood point. says that he himself is actually the chat moderator in his church's live stream. So there you go. Oh. We have someone who takes that role, whether it's a volunteer or maybe it would be great if it was um, an official that has some sort of, I don't know, maybe the youth group leader that would be a, a good type of role. I mean, depending on the denomination. That's a, that was a very good um, question um, or a comment about the churches. I'm not sure who that was. Mm. Um, Mike Holt says, <laughs> unfortunately, one church had a stalker that was trying to destroy everything. <laughs> and that happens when you're putting yourself out there live. Um, you have to deal with some trolls, some negative people. Let's talk about that just for a moment here because... Um, there are some ways to try to protect, um, like if you're in a public chat room and you're, especially for a house of worship, there are what's called blacklist, like word blacklists. So you can actually, and you, and you don't even want to spend your time creating, like thinking of all the words, all the just, bad words. You can just download a list on the web, on the, you internet. could look one. Yeah, and we have done it. We downloaded one and it was like 500 words that I'll never repeat again. You just copy and paste them into the blacklist area of your chat room and then those words will not be black will not be shown the other thing you can do and again i'm i'm really a fan of youtube and i i think i we might i might still want to kind of go back to the youtube platform and i like the chat room there personally but you can actually block an entire user so if like if that person mm -hmm. is just continually you know not being productive or positive you can just be like right click as the moderator block them from your channel. Say yeah. <laughs> so that is a benefit. I wonder, um, does Facebook that you know of Vicky have any um, option like that? You know, not, I, I think you could have, um, cause I know that watching comments, you could like report a spam, okay. but as far as the prevalence of spam comments is practically unheard of. I've never heard or seen any spam comments mm -hmm. on Facebook live. Now, Periscope has a ton. Blab used to have a ton. Mm -hmm. So like it depends on the platform. And so I understand why YouTube would have them because it's a very um, established network. There are people who are trolling around wasting their days away. But um, I, did, I did not feel that it's the case on Facebook. That's good. That's and interesting The numbers to actually too. show that. Twitter and Periscope, the numbers are just going down. Um, whereas Facebook is skyrocketing and YouTube is, you know, still on the up, up and up. Um, but yeah, Twitter, they're trying, they're trying really mm -hmm. hard, but as an, as a whole, the entire platform has, has been kind of on the decline. And even though they were early with Periscope, um, it, the numbers that just came out recently. Once Facebook and YouTube hopped on. Yeah, Facebook and YouTube are just basically taking the entire market. Well, and Facebook and YouTube are pushing live streaming. So people are going there because they're getting more views. Maybe I'm not sure why yeah. this is happening. And that breaks my heart because Biz Stone, the, the co-founder of Twitter, he is such a nice man. Is he, he is so kind hearted. I, I remember, I don't know. I think it's still live. Uh, he, he created his new, it was like a new project that he was working on called Jelly. I am pretty sure it's still active, but you can ask any question anonymously and people answer right away. So it's like a community of almost like, hmm. um, 
Yahoo answers, but you mm-hmm. can post photos and like, what kind of plant is this? Or like, I've been really active when it just came out and it was a lot of fun. Um, but if your I don't kid know, has a I strange don't... rash, <laughs> what is yeah. this? Although I don't think there's a huge community of moms all out there, but there are like tech geeks, a lot of, um, not that it's a bad thing. I love it. That's us. Um, <laughs> like a lot of, a lot of, um, really great questions about like you can even do research on it like what are people asking about wirecast what are people asking about live streaming so that's a really good way to get yourself into this question too but but anyway he would reply personally and biz stone would actually reply personally to people and that was like the sweetest thing and i remember i was like whoa what kind of founder like i mean he's probably like a millionaire like answers questions on his new little project like he he can hire an assistant to do that and he's like oh no i I really enjoy this and i I was just like blown away anyway so that kind of breaks my heart because his thing is not going so well well. twitter's definitely still alive breathing and full throttle um it might just be more of the live streaming community there um i think that we're kind of referring to um, and yeah. Instagram too is live now, but on my personal Instagram and Facebook accounts, when I was at the beach, I was live streaming just silly on the porch with my husband and son. And um, I noticed I did them back to back. I got no viewers on Instagram, embarrassing. Um, but then when I went to Facebook, I had a few, I had like five or something, but I thought it was interesting um, because they both said, we're busy building an audience for you. Instagram couldn't find anyone for me. <laughs> Maybe this is just a horrible look on me. <laughs> Nobody likes me. That's but. very interesting. Yeah. I think I think people turn off a lot of their notifications. Like for me, yeah. I, I have my Instagram notifications off. Mm-hmm. And Facebook, a lot of people I feel like are can be on Facebook kind of behind the scenes and they get a little notification that says mm-hmm. that you're live. So, th- but that's really, really interesting for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and I've heard about that too. And I and the problem with uh, trying to build an audience on a social media network is you never know when they're going to change. Like, you know, you had the experience, Vicky, with Blab. Mm-hmm. I, I was playing around yeah. with Blab too, and a lot of people loved it, and it just disappeared. Now, Facebook's not going to disappear. YouTube's not going to disappear. But, uh, you know, you, it's really difficult to build an audience on on social media platform where they could change the algorithm, change the notification settings, and then all these people that used to get your notifications are now somehow not getting them or or it's just something's changing. So the best thing to do really is to build an email list and make sure that you have a high uh, valued email that's going out. Tess does a really good job with her, with our emails that we send out. And, um, Sadly, you do need to do blogging and all the other stuff besides just going live to build that audience. And it clearly it's, has to do with a lot of bringing out value. Like with this show today, anyone who wants can download like 20 titles for live streaming that we already created. And in order to download them, you just have to fill out a form. And then, therefore, by filling out that form, guys, if you didn't know, you're going to get an email about our next show. Um, so we've got literally like 20,000 people in our email list. We don't email them all out of respect. We, that's like a whole nother topic. Yes, um, and Vicky's, I'm and on Vicky's email list now. Really? So yeah. I've been able to see some of your mompreneur emails. Oh, it's so. fun. Oh, thank you. They don't thank seem, you so much. Yeah, you're doing a good job with them. I'm trying to learn from um, some of the uh, email stars, like Lori is really good at hers really good. and Amy. Lori and I never is- so good. Yeah, her Amy emails. Schmidt mm, Schmouter. I can never pronounce Schmauer. her last name. She's Love got her. kick butt emails too. Um, and we it's use really that great as a really watch. important way to reach. For sure, for sure, email is key. Rudy says need to promote your live stream beforehand, no matter what platform. Heck yeah, very true for us. We need to do Vicky's question and reselect a winner because Jacob never <gasps> oh my gosh we have appeared for winner. us okay so we'll draw a new winner and we'll do Vicky's question and then we'll pretty much roll the credits unless there's any burning questions out there that we can answer Looking um, into that. okay so pull another winner I already closed it we use Gleam.io, and this has another been a really big draw for having people uh, show up and, and watch the show and everything, because you have to be watching live in order to win. So um, if you give away free stuff, they will come. <laughs> they will come. <laughs> yeah. 
So sad. I've noticed that. I've noticed that because oh, I often give away free <gasps> stuff at the end of the show. And Tom. Yeah, for us, it was very interesting um, to get all that set up because um, we were able to uh, bring on a lot of our live streaming partners to help. I'll go to my full screen here. I haven't done this one yet. Um, th we could bring in a lot of our live streaming partners to it. Tom's say, hey, new would background. Would you like to give a camera away? Or would you like to give this thing away? Or a li Wirecast license? Wirecast gave away a Wirecast gear, which is mm. a $5,000. Corey Maybe Sanders longer. just asked Does he think that, do we think that XSplit or Wirecast is better? I would give it to Wirecast on that one. Uh, Wirecast, I think, is better than XSplit. Um, I do not like products that make you that there is well. So wire first of all, XSplit is only Windows. Okay. VMix Wirecast Windows can too. be on Mac. Do Wirecast. you have a Mac, Vicky? Yeah. Okay. So okay. Yeah, so, so you I, would have to have a PC for VMix. Yeah. If you're if you're using Mac and that's the way you want to go, then Wirecast is probably the best software that there is. Oh, that's so interesting. So VMix is only for PC. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Because <laughs> my husband, I had really big issues with Wirecast for the longest time. I'm not even kidding. I think it was like um, up until recently that I finally figured it out. But it, the issues with the UC, UP CPU, <laughs> the issues with, <laughs> do you see how non tech I am? The issues with the CPU are horrible with Wirecast. And so there was a lot of lag in a lot of my shows. There was a lot of issues like that. And my husband always told me, babe, you should just switch to a PC and just uh, work on a PC because it will be a lot better. And I was like, no, Apple is better. I love Apple. <laughs> anyway, but that's really interesting that um, we're PC freaks that you're over here. Yeah, that's like awesome the age, the i have a mac at home battle. um but i don't live stream from home yet there's so many uh i was a mac person too but um i think it is true that windows is is much faster and uh the hardware is much more customizable yeah. this kind of relates um, to vicky's question yes and vicky's question let's not forget. vicky's <laughs> question we forced her to send us a question so Vicky, we got a bunch of responses. The question was a good question for our audience and our it show. It was. But it, um, so basically it, what you said, what is your favorite streaming platform? And what are your biggest struggles, struggles. within there? Or what is your, do you, you know? And it, it looks like most, you can, can you see the answers there? Yes. XSplit, yes. OBS. Wow, we've gotten a variation. I'm surprised, especially <sighs> with our audience. Wirecast, Wirecast. I have yet to see vMix which is very interesting. I'm curious, do you have Watch a way it. to show numbers? Like how many um, vers uh, use Wirecast versus um, the new tech or the others? Yes, and that's a good question. And I'll answer that. We could have um, done that if we had gave them options. So it all has to do with how you handle the Google Sheets and the Google Forms. Mm -hmm. We can and send her personally the data though. Yeah, we can, you, we can for send your own data personal if, if you're use. interested. Um, it's not like seat top secret or anything, but uh, cause it's all anonymous too. And you can, have, awesome. so you can have it be not anonymous. You can have it be anonymous, but it all has to do with kind of like, and it's kind of boring, but like Excel slash Google Sheets yeah. data management. So if we're just asking an open-ended question, like kind of like what you did, because you said, what's your li uh, favorite streaming platform and what's yeah. the most struggle. So yes. I decided to just ask for a paragraph. Yes, and you're inside right. Inside that you're paragraph, right. technically, gonna get a little techie here mm -hmm. but you can do a you can do an excel search for count if and you can have it go through all the cells and say count if wirecast is in that cell and so you could count all the cells and all the ones that say wirecast and you can say oh there's 28 people using wirecast and then wow. count if live stream and then oh there's eight now that's not the best way the best way would probably be to use like multiple choice so they can only select one and then you can do like averages. Like that's how we did actually both of these. I'll show it here. This actually got a little, let me just move this over. So on this here, see this one over here, we did the one that says streaming apps. So we did, there was 181 votes for YouTube, wow. but it was one out of five. So 
divide that by five, and that's how many actual people there were. And there was a 4.7 average. So what I did was I took all the data and averaged it, and then I did a total for each. Wow. So it's, very it just cool. kind of ends up being like work in uh, Google. But once you get that data, you can go ahead and integrate it into your live show, which is what this show is all about. That's amazing, Paul. Thank you so much for sharing that. Like, I came and I learned so much from you, you two. Amazing. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you so much for joining. We'd probably love to have you again sometime. Um, I think you did get nominated for the streaming awards, by the way. I saw a nomination come in. Um, <laughs> I don't, can you explain to me what that is? <laughs> we just started it. Yeah, we, we that just is started so awesome. it. So let's just go ahead. Let me just, um, I guess I'll just show it to you. Yeah, we'll um, just play the clip for you. I'll just play the clip. And, and I hope there's audio with this. Introduce. Okay, yes, yep. this is it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll just play the clip and then we'll roll the credits. But you did get uh, nominated for Best Female Host. Introducing the so first much. annual 2017 Streaming Awards. Now accepting nominations for several video production categories, including Best Show, Best Host, Best Co-Host, Best Producer, and much, much more. The 2017 Streaming Awards will air the last Friday in June. Visit www.streamingawards.com to nominate your favorite online live streaming show. Prizes include PTZ Optics second generation live streaming cameras, video production software, and much, much more. So hopefully you'll Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fancy. I love it. It's like almost like the glo glo yeah. golden globe. <laughs> That's what we're going for. That's going to be, we like to do That'll these be fun. Like, kind of like, fun, like different shows. Like mm -hmm. we do a black and white show called The History of Live Streaming. And we're, we're actually releasing a retro 80s themed show it's going to kind of look like this a little bit um and this one's going to be the streaming awards and the whole in essence paul has crazy ideas that yeah. most of the time pan out successfully <laughs> most of the time that's yeah. awesome you know it's interesting i have a friend and mentor um his name is andrew Locke, and he has a show called um help my business but it's not a live show and he he's the one that really helped me come up with the strategy for mom printer show but he really insisted on me having show segments kind of like what you guys have which is so awesome but i have never i haven't been getting my creative juices flowing enough to create those kind of segments because you guys have like the the lightning round and then you guys have another one in the in the beginning so like the, these segments are so awesome and i think that it's something that i need to look into to create something for for my audience it's like um either um c like you said our newest uh youtube subscribers that was so cool because you're like giving a shout out to your to your community and i really like that is one of the biggest lessons i'm learning from you guys that's Great. awesome and i think what's so cool about um the live streaming community itself it seems like everybody is so willing to share their sort of tips and tricks with one another and it's a fun place that's to be cool. everybody's collaborating um everybody's being on each other's shows and it's just a lot of fun I love yeah. that. I mean, it's it's a pleasure to be a part of this community. Yeah, and I commend you for growing your following so fast because I did notice that you said that you've only been streaming for just over a year. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and you have just about as many YouTube subscribers as we do, so you must be doing it right. Okay. So keep doing what you're doing. Uh, no, hold on one sec. It looks so good on the outside, and I just mm -hmm. want to say to you and to the audience watching, it looks glamorous. People often like moms uh, are like they're like, oh my goodness you replied to me and I'm just like I'm just like you I'm just because I have the show just because I have the, the subscribers is in, like literally doesn't mean anything and referring to the subscribers I had um, my YouTube channel it was it used to be called small business gal that was my previous gig and so I that's how I grew my subscribers by gotcha. doing how much tutorials video tutorials and that's how I grew my audience at first I created a separate account for mompreneur show separate YouTube 
But then I was like, why did I do that if I could just change the name yeah. on, on YouTube and just oh. put my videos on top of each other? And here's the thing. I thought you cannot change your custom URL for YouTube. But I did some research and I found this YouTube video that says you can actually email them and request it. And I literally did that. And they got back to me within, I think, a day or two. And they said, hey, Vicky, so this, is, but you have to make sure like I want to change it. I want it changed to this name. And so they sent me an email, click on this link and you'll, you're good to go. So I clicked on it and then it said, change your YouTube URL. I, I clicked Vicky Leshenko. I should have done my partner show, but whatever. And it, it's possible. So email YouTube if that's the issue that you're having and don't create another YouTube channel. Like stay right. where you are. So what everybody grows as they, as they go in business. So Vicky's kind of like what I predict with live streaming that all these successful YouTube stars, content producers, creators are going to be transitioning over to live streaming. Um, the tutorials are so popular, but I do see in the future this transitioning over to live streaming and that's what I hope happens. Yes. Because I think actually, it's actually- Oh, next, absolutely. Next Take my word for it. Uh, Daryl Eves, who has yeah. 380,000 YouTube subscribers, and he built it all with tutorials, and now he's just getting into live streaming, mm -hmm. where he's using a couple of our cameras. And, Super uh, excited. Be next Friday. For that. Amazing. Again, Vicky, thank you so thank much for joining us. Thank you so much us. for joining, Vicky. Thank you so much, you guys, for having me. This was thank so much you. fun. Yes, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you soon. And that's all, folks. We appreciate your participation in the chat room and can't wait to host our next informative Q&A session. Your questions drive the conversation forward for live streaming professionals around the world. Until next time, happy streaming! You still with you us, guys? Vicky? Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. This was so fun. Yeah. I learned so much. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a great talk. Corey said, "Good stuff, Vicky. I changed my YouTube name and have struggled to get a following." Hopefully, he got some good inspo from you on that. I hope so too. Yeah, for I sure. Had no idea. You had a lot of good advice there. You did have a lot of good tips. Oh, I learned some thanks. stuff too. So. It's a great opportunity to share, to bounce ideas off one another. We're always looking for Absolutely. new ideas, tips, ways to get stuff done. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. And I mean, if you're ever interested in um, in the workflow 